Kate's, Kate's nice to be here. Now, a bit about me. You might have noticed uh, I'm quite tall for a bird. I'm six foot one. Six foot two, my lesbian, kitten heels. Um, <laughs> thank you. Or, as you, as, they, as you might know them, sir, trainers. Uh, now, look, people think it's good being tall, right? But no, other people find it more useful than we do, right? And I discovered a new reason the other day, getting ready for a night out with my mates. I overheard them whispering in the kitchen. They were like this. Right, guys, remember, safety first. If we get lost, meet at Kate. <laughs> Bastards! <laughs> All these years, guys, I thought I was popular. I, I'm not. I'm just a landmark. <laughs> I'm not the life and soul of the party. I'm a lost friend's meeting point. <laughs> and now, guys, it's all falling into place. Now it makes sense why every time I go to the park, I turn around, half of class 5C are trailing behind me. <laughs> Followed by all these lost little kids being like, have you seen my mummy? Like, oh, pop it. She's not my type. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it gets awkward, you know, these lost kids never have hot mums. Do you know what I mean? They don't, they don't, I have tried. Uh, <laughs> any in tonight? Oh, a few, see you in the bar after. Uh, <laughs> anyway, it gets worse, when you're tall and you look like this, like when you're tall you're a, well, when you're tall you're a butch old leather. Uh, <laughs> I heard that fucking laugh was at leather and not old, by the way. <laughs> yeah, because I, uh, it's a bit of a sore point, guys, so I turned 40 this year. <laughs> I said I turned 40 this year. <laughs> Stop it! And do you know what? My actual, my actual birthday was on Easter Sunday. I turned 40 on Easter Sunday. Or as I now call it, the Lesurrection. <laughs> Thank you very much. Uh, uh, but when you're tall and you look like this, when you're tall and you basically look like the love child of Sue Perkins and Spock. <laughs> Live long and prosper. Uh, <laughs> When you're tall and you look like this, fuck me, it gets me in some trouble, right? So uh, I, I had to stay over after a gig recently, right? The only room I could afford was a single bed in a four-bed women's dorm in a youth hostel. I know what you're all thinking, the glamour. Uh, anyway, all I'm going to say, guys, is I don't know if you can imagine something that looks like this tiptoeing into a lady's bedroom late at night. <laughs> some of you are ahead of me. I was tiptoeing in, trying not to wake anybody. I need... I needn't have worried, because as I got in, there was just one older Spanish lady in bed, right, chatting away on the phone in the 70s, chatting away on the phone in Spanish. I won't do it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> she takes one look at me, right, pulls up her covers, gasps and goes, <gasps> Es un hombre. <laughs> es un hombre. And I was like, holy fuck, I panicked. I was like, oh my God, she's terrified of me. What do I do? And I was like, I panicked. I was like, act like a woman. I don't know <laughs> what women I've been watching. <laughs> I mean, not like that, not like, <laughs> all right, sweetheart, not like that. But I was like, I panicked. I don't know what feminine people do. So I was flicking my non-existent hair, <laughs> laughing like women on tampon adverts who just realised they can roll a skate. Like, <laughs> anyway, I don't know what the fuck I was doing, but it was working. She was calming down, right? And then, and I don't know how, how I heard, uh, understood and translated this in my non-existent Spanish, right? Then I heard her say, Oh. Oh, it's okay. Es un hombre homosexual. <laughs> well, that's no better. <laughs> well, I suppose it was for her, actually. She was expecting Jack the Ripper and she got Rylan Clark. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> Fucking hell, honestly, honestly. But I've always been, like, I've always been, um, I, I've always been quite androgynous, right? Um, or bless, actually, do you know, <laughs> my friend's mum, bless her, she can never get it right. You know these mums that try and be queer friendly and always get it wrong, you know? Yeah, my friend's mum can never remember the word androgynous and instead always calls me ambiguous. <laughs> it's not right, is it, but it's not wrong. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> It's really not wrong. And I am ambiguous, I get it. Like, I was at a tube on, uh, on the way home from work yesterday, right? And like, being ambiguous, it gives me like, um, it, guys, it makes me realise some of the stresses you face on a day-to-day -day basis, right? I was on the tube, I was stood completely still, this is the critical information, this woman shoulder barged me on her way off and she went, huh, men. <laughs> I was like, fucking hell, I didn't do anything. And it, then this man looked at me in solidarity and went, huh, women. <laughs> And I was like, mate, that's not right. But on this occasion, you do have a point. Uh, 
what can I say? Anyway, the worst place to be ambiguous, the worst place to be ambiguous in women, is women's public toilets, right? Without fail, every single time, I'll just be stood there minding my own business, a woman will walk in, take one look at me and go, oh shit, sorry, I thought this was the ladies. <laughs> and then they're never quite sure. <laughs> like sniffing the air, being like, doesn't smell like the men's, but <laughs> what is it? <laughs> And the first thing they do to try and figure it out, the first thing they do is they look straight here, right? And I'm like, fuck me, sweetheart, that's not gonna help. <laughs> Honestly, guys, these puppies are so small on a cold night, my nipples are poking out me back. <laughs> Honestly, all through winter, I can make a glass, I make a living engra engraving glass. Ah. Kate was here. <laughs> I'll do your pint mug after, sir. Uh, Anyway, right, the, back to this one, bless her, she's now shitting herself, right, the social awkwardness she's created, she's absolutely mortified. I was like, oh God, I do feel sorry for her, and I was like, fucking hell, I should really do something to help her out and relieve this tension. But I won't. <laughs> no, guys, fuck it, it's 2022, so things should have moved on about gender, right? <laughs> yeah, and I was right, I was like, I've got to make a stand, I'm sick of it, every time I'm in the toilet, someone thinking I'm a bloke, and it's like, for fuck's sake, could a woman not be tall, have short hair, and just be stood there? Pissing in the sink. <laughs> it's outrageous, guys, what we have to put up with, isn't it? Outrageous. Guys, I've been Kate Martin. You've been absolutely fucking delightful. <laughs> <laughs>